Bonjour mes enfants, c'est votre Uncle Dan. Yeah, back with another episode of Uncle Dan's Vintage Vinyl. The YouTube channel that tries to be as annoying and uninformative as possible. Today I have my topic of clueless covers. That is, covers for albums that make you wonder, what on earth were they thinking? First up, oh, and this one I get to... I get to wind up uh, uh, my favorite uh, people, my fans, the people who love me the most. That is the prog rock boys and girls, mainly probably prog rock boys, but the prog rock boys and girls, those who love, you know, Emerson, Lake and Palmer and folks like that, Jethro Tull. And I'm starting with, with Tarkus by Emerson, Lake and Palmer, which is one of the most, you know, infamously bad, uh, you know, the uh, Ricefield Records, you know, even mentioned this in comments to one of my other uh, 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 videos. This is an infamously bad, just clueless cover. Uh, I've read who the artist was, and I just don't, you know, it's like, really? You paid somebody for that? And apparently they did. But yeah, it's an, it's an armadillo that's also a tank. Oh, that cool. It's an armadillo that's also a tank. When I was well, I might have found that interesting. Although I think when I was 12, I'd probably have preferred my, you know, the album covers with, uh, you know, scantily clad women on them, even at that time. The inside is just as glorious as the uh, as the uh, front cover, the the gatefold. Yeah, uh, they paid paid this guy more, uh, you know. So yeah, there's the there's the armadillo from another angle, you know. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, they got a pterosaur, I guess, or something. Uh, the armadillo again, or, you know, uh, the, I don't know, sort of a manticore thing. I don't know. Anyway, this was a, the, uh, this is on Atlantic Records and all the, on their cotillion imprint, I guess I'd call it. Uh, but the, uh, the cotillion label of Atlantic, I don't know. Cotillion, Atlantic, it doesn't matter. Uh, you think, you know, the record companies were typically owned and still are typically owned, uh, although some of the, like, Death Row Records and others have, you know, cooler owners. But, you know, those were back in the day. They were, those were owned by, you know, old, old white guys, you know, with uh, suits and ties and, uh, uh, you know, pretty conservative tastes. So there, and there were adults around, and you think that some adult, you know, didn't some adult say, that's really a dumb dumb painting for the cover that looks like something that a modestly talented 12 year old would come up with and then when they turned 13 or 14 would say oh my god why did i ever do that so we, you know I, I suspect that somebody said you know is that really what we want to put on the cover and somebody else would have said oh yes james this this is what the young people of today love they love things like that they will they will eat this up and maybe they were right um uh, Next up is a little earlier, yeah, another, another kind of infamously dumb cover, Donovan. A gift from a flower to a garden. Here, let me give you my, my gift. My gift of my songs. My songs which are so gentle and so loving and so filled with peace and meditation and spirituality because I went and saw the Maharishi, yes, I spent my obligatory time with the Maharishi, and I have come back filled, filled, filled children with spiritual knowledge. And I am this, you know, giving. I'm a flower, giving my gift to the garden. This flower, giving my gift to the garden of the world. Yes. I think I'm, I think I have diabetes now. Yeah, diabetes. So the interior has, uh, the box, is, box set here, is a little on the beat side, uh, but uh, you know, uh, you know. Look, you got you got to ooh, get the glitter off uh, there. Got to, got got us some lyrics there. Uh, got you know another great shot on the interior, and then it has this you know this this thing with with all these. Uh, uh, you know things you can pull out of here, right? I don't know. I think somebody. I think somebody with a crayon did the seven on there. 
Looks like it to me. Or eight. I don't know. Maybe some people with crayons did those. Uh, so marked it up. It's not valuable now. I won't. I won't get my. I won't get a return on what I spent for it, which is nothing, because the truth is, Uncle Dan would not have paid for this. The songs are. Oh, I forgot to mention on on the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. That's not as bad as Brain Salad Surgery. There are a couple of songs on there that are that are I find kind of listenable. You know, obviously, I'm not a prog rock fan, right? <laughs> uh, but there's a couple of songs on there on the on the B side, the you know, uh, second side. They're not bad, uh, and I, I can't remember what they are because I don't really care. Uh, but uh, let's see, Are You Ready, Eddie? Is kind of a you know, yeah, kind of a decent rock, you know, sort of rock song. Uh, and uh, I think the only way is the uh, other song on there that I thought I can listen to that without you know ha feeling the need to leap up from my chair, go find the record, and frisbee it off into space. The Donovan uh, is so precious that uh, I, I just you know oh my god anyway. And the third is Clueless in a slightly these are Clueless covers. Oh by the way. The Donovan cover, uh, I, I read about it. I mean, it's it's the technically, and I do photography, uh, black and you know pretty much all black and white. You know, like four by five, some eight by ten. I've got a couple eight by ten cameras, thirty five, and, and roll film, one twenty film. So, uh, I need some one twenty seven. I've got some one twenty seven. I got a couple one twenty seven cameras. Uh, but um, this is this was shot in infrared color. And it took uh, six separations to get that uh, uh, to print the cover. Usually, it takes uh, four sep uh, four. They have to make four separate uh, separations for you know shoot the light through and uh, print it. You know, register it all. Technically, very difficult to make that cover. A cover. So they you know they 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 believed in Donovan, who at the time was considered kind of a competitor to Dylan. Uh, I don't think now that many people think that. Maybe Donovan does. I think Donovan's still alive. I'm not, I'm not going to follow. Last one is Clueless in a Different Way. This is America, uh, a horse with no name. Uh, their first album, uh, or, you know, although I think that, uh, I'm not sure, this I think is probably a reprint of it. This was from 71. If I actually cared, I would go look up. You know, I would, I would have looked up beforehand and tried to figure out when it came from. But I leave that to serious, you know, I'll leave that to serious vinyl community channels. Uh, maybe someone in the comments will want to educate me on this, but I don't really need to be educated on it. Uh, that would imply that I cared about those things. What's clueless about this is you have them in front of a very large, uh, uh, presumably a very large poster. Uh, it looks like a, an Edward Curtis photograph. The fa Edward Curtis, the famous photographer of the uh, natives uh, in the uh, U.S. in the uh, late 1800s and uh, into the early 1900s. Uh, uh, and there's a great Timothy Egan book on him, Short Night of the Shadow Catcher, uh, or Short Nights of the Shadow Catcher. Uh, uh, he was he was real dude, Curtis. Uh, and uh, but anyway, three three uh, three natives, three native. I won't call them Native Americans because you know that's that's in itself wrong. Uh, they're native. They were natives of this land that we have come to call America. And then we got these three uh, white guys who were all, you know, two of them were uh, 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 all of them. Uh, I think were uh, military kids. Uh, two of them born in England. One born, I believe, in Panama. Uh, but they're chilling in front of this, and you know they're laughing, and you know having a good time, and in front of these, in front of uh, this photo of uh, the, uh, of you know natives uh, in uh, uh, in uh, finery and uh, very well dressed and very serious people, and I mean that really serious people. I mean seriously, these are people, and it just seems to me like another another form of appropriation uh, by by you know we got these white kids. These white kids just, you know, we're going to take the name and we're going to take the image, of the, the images of these people. Uh, and now, you know, when I look at it, I think, man, that's pretty offensive. Uh, it's pretty offensive. We, we uh, Europeans have done so much to, uh, have, you know, we stole the, con the continent from, uh, from the native peoples, both, both of these continents, of course, North and South America. 
Oh, and Central America too. We sold both of them from the native people. And now, hey, let's steal a little bit more. Let's just use your image uh, to, to market this. Great, isn't it? <coughs> now this says, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not dying much though you may wish I would. Uh, this has a horse with no name on it, which is terrible, but it's otherwise not bad. Anyway, Uncle Dan, the vinyl man, let me know what some other bad uh, covers in the comments. In the meantime, au revoir. Et aussi, mes enfants. A bientôt.